Hey there, it's been a little while. I'm hoping to get back on track on these videos. Um, I've, been, uh, I've been meaning to do a bunch of videos, some on little things, some on bigger things. Um, first, um, I was one of, uh, one of you guys out there sent a comment about the screen key, what I use to do the keystrokes. And um, the fact that I actually have a two monitor setup, but I'm only recording this one monitor that you see in front of you. Um, but the screen key that I had installed from the Linux Mint distribution or from PIP or wherever was going across both monitors and that really wasn't so good. Um, so anyway, um, thank you for pointing me to the fact that there's a new version out. So now I can actually have it dedicated to this window and you can see it's uh, this should be a little bit better, um, and I still would like to try to find something that's vertical, but um, oh well, uh, you know, I'm still looking. Um, anyway, so over at Aereo, uh, an Emacs blog that um, I'm very fond of, uh, learned a lot from, there was a little comment on undoing, and um, you know, I thought uh, based on um, the, you know, the suggestion that I do a little video for it, that I would talk about undoing a little bit. And uh, actually, this was on the uh, agenda anyway. So, um, so let me first, let's talk a little bit about built-in undoing. So if we load up Emacs, um, Emacs does have a built-in undo. Let me make the font a little bigger. And the built-in undo, um, you know, you can type in line one or one window. If I really should fix the completion, get it more to my uh, taste. I just kind of left it the way when I showed it to you. So line two, line three. And you can do undo. And let me just bring this up. So, yes, okay, so it's all over the key. Um, with control and then the slash. And notice that that's undoing or control and then the underscore also will do undo and that's pretty much it there isn't a whole lot of um powerful undo features uh, built into regular emacs um in fact the way you would redo is you would undo and undo and i never really actually did undo too much um until i discovered the undo tree package um which is really pretty awesome so let's take a look at that let's first install it let's load our init.el or my init.org it's been a while actually as you can see and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new section for let's open up why snippet so i can have that as a model undo tree and that'll be some emx list code and what we're going to do is we're going to use package undo underscore tree uh, let's edit it so we get the completion we're going to ensure it so that it's actually installed and our init is just going to be global undo tr undo tree mode and that's it and i'm just going to quit emacs and i'll reload it and that should be installed i could have just done the control c control c oh no undo tre that's my problem so let's load up my init.org again we have undo tre uh, let's fix that undo tree let's try this again okay i think we're actually okay on that i think those are just some warnings so let's see how this works um well the first thing is we still have our undo so if we have like one one window two line three some more stuff etc Studlify word. I have no idea where that's from. Okay, uh, really got to fix this completion. So once again, we can do uh, control and then slash for undo, and we see what's undoing. But if we do hold the shift, control shift slash, that gives us a redo. So automatically, not automatically, but just to start with, the shift in my seat here, um, we're better than we were before. But where this becomes really cool is, and let's just redo everything, we're not at the bottom, okay, is let's look at the undo tree. So we can bring that up with escape X, um, escape X undo tree visualize or something like that. Uh, let's actually look at control H K. It's bound to control X U and that runs the command undo tree visualize. Okay, so that's the actual command we want. So if we do control X U, well, um, we don't actually see the undo tree. Uh, we should see the undo tree. Let me re, ah. Get back to here. Why don't we see this? Oh, the reason we may not see this is because notice how we're undoing and redoing. I remembered. See that X on the um, right window? Uh, this theme is pretty bad for looking at the undo tree. So let's load theme. 
Um, and let's load the Zen Burn theme. Okay, uh, I think it's going to ask me there. Really load? Yes, let's really load this. Let's. Uh, so this is the theme that I normally use, and this will look a little bit better. So anyway, now if we do Control X U, we have this visual of our undo tree and where we are in it. Now you'll you'll notice I said undo tree, um, but what we really see is an undo line. And actually, if we hit D, we can bring up diffs. And I don't really use this. Um, I just like looking at the actual changes, but you'll see the diffs down in this area here. Turn off the diffs. So let's just get to the end here. Um, but the thing is that it can, you can change your history. You can do some really cool things. And before we show that, let's talk a little bit about um, what I mean by having uh, this undo tree and um, changing in history. So I'm going to go into another buffer. Call it other. And I'm going to use a mode that I kind of like called artist mode. And artist mode, um, you can use the mouse. Uh, so I'm using the mouse, and if I hold the middle button, I can select, like I can select a rectangle, and I can actually draw a rectangle here, and I can be typing some text. And it's not perfect, but um, I actually use this a lot with something called DITAA to make really nice diagrams. I'll show that later. So, you know, here if I have line one, and I have line two, and line three, and if I undo and re redo, I'm just changing up and down. I can undo or get rid of line three, then line two, then line one, redo, come back here. Um, but let's say we go ahead and later we do some more lines. Let's say we have another rectangle. Oh, this will make sense in a minute. Uh, let's say we, ah, sorry. Wow, why is my mouse going wonky? I don't know. Okay, let's, let's quit this. Kill this buffer. Let's try that again. Artist mode. Let's go to a rectangle. Let's say we have a rectangle. And let's say we did line one, line two, and then we're continuing adding. Forget, don't worry about the fact that these are separate rectangles, line three and line four. And let's say we're undoing and redoing. If we undo, we're gonna go from line four to line three, and then from line three to line two, and one two to line one, and we can redo it. And these are actually, you can think of these as just a connected set of boxes in them. But what happens is, let's say we do our history back to here, and we undo, undo to line two, and then instead of doing line three, we do like line five and line six. Oh, that's why I hit the, let's just go to line five, whatever. All right, so this is not a very good demo. Sorry about that, but artist mode is cool, so I'll keep doing this. Uh, you know, we have a little rectangle here, but the idea is we now have a tree where we can either go from here to here, or we can go like that. So when we're here, we can go to either of these two places, and our history can be split, or we can do cool things with it. So just bearing that in mind, let's go back to here. Let's look at our undo tree again, Control X U. Or let's actually make sure, let's get to the bottom, okay. Control X U. And let's come back up to here, and let's just quit here from our undo tree with Q. And now we can say, this is a new line, and more new stuff in this branch. Now if I do control X, you notice that we have two things here. And notice that we can go up and we're in this branch, but over here, we're back to this you know, line three. We can come over to this side and say, no, nah, I really want to go back to here. So let's come back to here. Now we're on the original branch. Let's get our new tree. Let's come all the way back up to here. And we'll say, and here we're changing things all together. And so now we have three branches here. And of course, this continue on. And you can use control, you know, the left, I'm just using the arrows for this. It's funny that I actually use control N and P for navigation, but for this I use arrows. But we can just then use from these, from this vertex here, we can go which of the branches we want, go up and down on it to whichever we want to. You know, if we can look at that diff mode if we wanted, and we can see the diffs between the different modes. 
you know, now we're in this branch. And it's a really nice way of undoing and redoing and seeing exactly where you are and exactly where your changes are. Now, most of the time, you'll just see linear behavior. But when you're starting to cut and paste and undo and change and redo, etc., it's a really, really, really nice interface. It is really, really easy. Um, I don't even really... Um, I don't use the redo that much. What I'll normally do is if I just have a quick undo, I'll just use the quick uh, control slash to do undos. Um, and I don't really use redo very much. If I'm getting into a more complicated thing, I will, oops, I'll bring up the tree and then work from there. Um, and there are keystrokes that you can even, I guess, change branches even without bringing up the visual tree, but I haven't tried that. It, that's kind of confusing to me. I, it's hard to remember, but undo tree, it's really, really cool. I hope you enjoy this. I hope this gets me back into more uh, regular video making and um, yeah, enjoy and I'll see you the next time.